Hello viewers, this is Wogada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on three-dimensional vectors. And in this lesson, you are going to talk about the conditions for perpendicular and parallel vectors. So we shall start with perpendicular vectors. So suppose two vectors A and B are perpendicular to each other. It implies that the angle between them is 90. For example, this is vector A going the direction vector b going the direction so the angle between them will be 90 degrees now from dot product we know that a dot b is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cos theta where theta is the angle between the two vectors a and b so in our case the, uh, the our theta will be 90 degrees so come and substitute for theta to give you that but you have to remember that cos 90 degrees is equal to zero what does that mean it means that the whole of this becomes zero and you end up with a dot b equal to zero now this is the condition for perpendicular vectors so if vector a and b are perpendicular it implies that when you dot them you'll get zero so now with that knowledge you shall go through the solution to the following problems so problem one you're given vector p which is two three four and vector two which is five two negative four so they want you to show that P and Q are perpendicular vectors. So I want to first remember the condition that if P and Q are perpendicular, then when you dot the two, you have to get zero. So come and substitute for P, substitute for Q, which will be equal to zero. When you dot this, we will get five times two times five to give you that plus three times two to give you that plus four times negative four to give you that equal to zero. So this one will be ten. This will be 6 and this will be negative 16. So when you sum all these ones, you come up with 0. So the left hand side is equal to the left right hand side. That implies that they are perpendicular to each other. Now problem 2, we are told that if 5 negative lambda 1 is perpendicular to vector 2, 3, negative 4, find the value of lambda. So in this case, we start by saying that if these two are perpendicular, when you dot them, you have to get zero. So substitute for that first vector, which is five negative lambda one, and dot two three negative four to be equal to zero. So when I dot, I'll say this times this to give me ten, this and this to give me negative three lambda, and this and this to give me negative four to be equal to zero. So when I simplify this and this, will become six. So that six <coughs> will remain this side, and this one will go the other side to become. 3 lambda equal to 6, therefore lambda will be equal to 2, so that will be the solution to the pro given problem. So now we shall go to parallel vectors. Now there are three ways to test whether a given pair of vectors are parallel or not. So the first method is known as the scalar multiple method. In this method, if two vectors A and B are parallel, it implies that a will be a scalar multiple of b what does that mean it means that a will be equal to lambda b where lambda is a scalar scalar means a constant value or number now this scalar value can either be positive or negative if it is positive it means that the two vectors a and b are like parallel vectors what on the other hand if it is negative it means that the two vectors a and b are unlike parallel vectors now like parallel vectors are vectors which are parallel to each other and in the same direction for example these two vectors a and b are parallel to each other in other words, they never meet and they are in the same direction going to the right so these are par like parallel vectors for unlike parallel vectors they are parallel to each other but in opposite directions for example vector a is going this direction vector b is going in the other direction so that's the difference between like parallel vectors and unlike parallel vectors then the other method is known as the dot method now for the dot method like parallel vectors the angle between the two will be zero and therefore from the dot product a dot b equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b cos theta now in this case our theta will be zero so we put zero degrees but we know that cos zero is equal to one so in the end we shall come up with 
a dot b being equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b as the condition for like parallel vectors now for unlike parallel vectors they are Oppo, they are parallel but in opposite directions. For example, this is in this direction, A is in this direction. So the angle between them will be 180 degrees. Therefore, from the dot product, the, where there is theta, we put there 180 degrees. And we know that cos 180 degrees is equal to negative 1. What does that mean? It means that A dot B is equal to negative magnitude of A, magnitude of B. So this will be the condition for unlike parallel vectors and the last one is by comparing the direction ratios now the direction ratios of parallel vectors are equal so if two vectors ha have equal direction ratios it implies that they are parallel to each other for example vector p the direction ratio will be this co coefficients of i j k so i is that j is that and k is that meaning the direction ratio will be 4, negative 3, 2. And this vector will be parallel to any vector whose direction ratios are 4 lambda, negative 3 lambda, and 2 lambda. For example, if I put lambda as 2, I'll get 8, negative 6, 4. This, and that implies that vector 8, negative 6, 4 is parallel to vector 4, negative 3, 2. And they are like parallel vectors because they are lambda is positive if lambda is negative for example when i put lambda as negative 3 here i'm going to get negative 12 9 and negative 6 in that case lambda is negative implying that this vector and this vector are unlike parallel vectors with that knowledge on, perpend on parallel vectors, we shall now solve the pro following problems. So this problem, they want you to determine whether the given pair of vectors are parallel or not. So Roman 1 is that, Roman 2 is that, and Roman 3 is that. So we shall start with Roman 1. So Roman 1, you are given two vectors, 1, negative 2, 3, and negative 4, 8, negative 12. So for the first method, which is the scalar method, this vector must be a scalar multiple of this for them to be parallel. So let's find out whether they, it's a scalar multiple of the other. So we shall first compare our components of i, which will be 1 this side, and this side is negative 4 lambda, which is negative 4 lambda here. Give, this gives us lambda as negative 0 0.25. Then the, for the components of i, this side is negative 2, this side is 8 lambda. So it will be negative 2 equal to 8 lambda which will give us lambda as negative 0 0.25. For the components of k, this side is 3, this side is negative 12 lambda. So we shall say 3 is equal to negative 12 lambda, which implies that lambda will be equal to negative 0 0.25. So I think I can realize that all the value for lambda is the same for all components, i, j, and k, implying that lambda is a constant value. And because this constant value it becomes the scalar, and therefore the two vectors are parallel. But also note that these values are negative values. So lambda is a negative value. What does that imply? It implies that the two vectors are unlike parallel vectors. So that's how you can use method one to find out whether the given pairs of vectors are parallel or not. For the method two, which was the dot method, you have to dot the two should say a dot b is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b so this is first vector this is second vector this mag magnitude of the first vector magnitude of the second vector so a dot b will give us one times negative four which is negative four negative two times eight which is negative sixteen then three times negative twelve which is negative thirty six for this side will be one squared which is that plus negative 2 squared which is that plus 3 squared which is that everything under root for this side it will be negative 4 squared which is that 8 squared which is that negative 12 squared which is that everything under root now for this the whole of this will give us negative 56 this will give us square root of 14 and this will give us square root of 2 2 4 this times this will give us 3 3, three 1 3 6 everything under root and the square root of this is equal to 56. What does that mean? 
I think I realize that they are same in magnitude but opposite in signs. One is po- negative, another one is positive. What does that mean? Because they are same in magnitude, it implies they are parallel. Because they have opposite signs, it implies that they are unlike. So we shall conclude that the two vectors are unlike parallel vectors. And the last method is one for comparing direction ratios. So for this first one, direction ratio will be 1, negative 2, 3, which is this 1, negative 2, 3. And the second one will be negative 4, 8, negative 12, which is negative 4, 8, negative 12. So when you reduce this ratio by 4, we shall come up with negative 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And when you compare, the magnitudes are the same, but the signs keep on changing. For example, the first one it is 1, negative 1, this side. Second one is negative 2, this is positive 2. This is ne- positive 3 is negative 3. Because the signs change and the magnitudes are the same, it implies that they are unlike parallel vectors. So that's how you use any of the three methods to find out whether a given pair of vectors are parallel or not. So choose the one of your cho- which is easier to you. Roman 2, they want us to find out whether this and this are parallel or not. Now for this case, since we have seen how the other, how the three methods are done, we shall only choose the one which is shorter and that will be the third method for comparing direction ratios. Now for the direction ratio of this will be 1, nega- one 2, 3. And for this one it will be negative 4, negative 8, 12. So 1, 2, 3 and negative 4, negative 12, negative 8, 12. So when we reduce this by 4, we shall come up with negative 1, negative 2, and 3. As you can see that, though the magnitudes are the same, but the signs are not rhyming. For example, when this is positive, this is negative. When this is positive, this is negative. And when this is positive, this is n- positive. So in that case, they are not rhyming because these two, at least they are rhyming. These are positive, this is negative. But when it comes to the third one, this is positive and this is positive, meaning they are not rhyming therefore they are not parallel for the roman 3 they want to compare whether this vector and this are parallel or not so for this one the direction vector will be 1 12 3 1 12 3 for this one the direction vector will be 2 6 12 2 6 12 when you reduce this by 2 you get 1 3 6 i think i see that they are not equal implying that they are not parallel so that's how you can test whether you can vectors are parallel or not. Which brings us and that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e Learning Platform. Thank you.